Really excited today as we're going to be bringing you this hot new trend, the bubble nail or bubble nails. Uh, I think it's super interesting, the technique in getting this look and this texture. Tracy is going to get into the details and show you how to do this right now. Tracy, I'm excited about this nail, the bubble nail, or bubble nails, however you want to, I'm not sure what the proper, same thing. <laughs> but the thing is, is that it's a little misleading because the title, it's not like, I guess you're kind of getting bubbles. It's more of a texture, not that you're getting bubbles on the nail. Dragon scale. Right? Yeah. But you're using bubbles to get the look which is weird, cool, and interesting all at the same time. I like weird, because I'm a little weird. You are weird. I'm totally weird. A lot weird. A lot weird. And that's why I like this look. Uh, you want to just describe what you're going to do? I hate this look. <laughs> okay, honesty is the best <laughs> policy. Or I did. Okay. When I first saw it, I'm like, uh -huh. But I tried it, and it's super easy, so now I like it. Ah, <laughs> because super easy in the salon translates to money. money. And yeah. it's trendy, so clients are going to want it. Yeah. And when it comes, e it's easy to do. I'm like, oh, sweet. So you can execute it and bring execute. your clients the trend. And make the money. Cool. You ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how to do these tiny bubble nails, bubble nails, dragon scale nails, whatever you want to call it. I just call it easy, which I love. I wasn't sure if I liked it at first, but I'm just, it's starting to grow on me. So I'm going to show you how to do it with just three simple, well, four if you count the bubbles, four simple items. I've already obviously extended my nail, filed it and shaped it. I call this a raw nail. Raw nail to me is when it's ready to be top coated or put your design on. So I've already protein bond just to make sure everything adheres really nicely. We're gonna start with our Mission Control Overdrive. I love using Mission Control for pigment. It just sticks to it really, really nicely. I'm gonna get this down around the cuticle through. I love this black. It's so pigmented. Had too much coffee as usual. Got my shakes going on, but that's okay. We'll just call it blending. Blend it in. Make sure we get anything off the skin. I'm gonna get that in the light. I like to cure it for about 30 seconds because it just grabs a hold of that pigment really, really nicely. I'm gonna grab our gold pigment and our, our garnet pigment. I cannot find a sponge to save my life today, so I'm just gonna use my makeup brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the garnet, and I'm just gonna tap around. I don't know, let's just win it, people. See what we got. Make sure we hit everything. Looks like pretty fall color, so hopefully we like it all together once it's done. Just gonna dust through, get rid of all that excess. Actually, I kind of liked how it went on with the makeup sponge. Very cool. Okay. Once we have that, we're going to grab our finish gel. You wanna use a non-tack top coat for this part. And we're gonna get that on, just a nice coat over the whole surface of the nail. A nice amount all over. Once we have this, we're gonna grab a cup full of bubbles. Now, if you wanna be professional, you can go ahead and grab a spoon and do it. This is just me, I'm not that classy. So we're going to just kinda put it over the, now you don't wanna get it in the water. And this was just done with Dawn soap. You wanna make sure that you hit that very edge you're covered in bubbles, and we are. We're gonna stick it in the light for one minute. We're gonna get ourselves a manicure brush, and we're just gonna dust off the extra bubbles. Yes, yes, it's that easy. Now, I was concerned at first that this would chip, but this stuff is on there. It feels textured, scaly, but it's on there. And that is your tiny bubble Dragon scale, scaling nails. 